Again, my name is Grandmaster Eugene Perlstein. For those who don't know me, welcome to my channel, Boston Blitz, Boston Brawl. And we are here to rumble. E4, C5, first Sicilian is white. Yay, Knight C3, Knight C6. Let's play the Grand Prix attack from our white book. So I expect E6 or G6 here. Yep, there we go. We're in the main line. My opponent knows what he's doing. It looks like it. Knight d4 is what I expect. That move uh, I can just take. I can take, but I'm not in a hurry to do that. All right, let's do it. Maybe I could have played h3 too to stop bishop g4. If he trades the bishop for the knight, it's much harder to checkmate him. No, no, that's not a good fan shadow. I just told you this diagonal is the most important, but not when there's a pawn right there, guys. Come on. Okay, f5. So for those of you who don't know this plan, queen e1, queen h4, bishop h h6, and mate him. Okay, this move e6 surprises me. Um, I don't know. So many promising ways. I can take it, I can ignore it. I can take it, I can ignore it, I can play take, take e5. Let's do this. Now, the game becomes a little bit more positional, guys. But I'm going to break up those pawns. If pawn takes, look at the pawns. Terrible. So knight d5, I expect. I can play knight e4, take, either way. I can throw in this intermezzo bishop g5. Let's throw this guy in. So now he's got a problem. The problem is, yeah, the problem is there is really not a good square for the queen. And I'm just simply, you see this guy, this guy's blocked off and this guy's blocked off. Typical Fanchero bishops that are bad. That's an example of a bad Fanchero bishop. So look at the pawn structure. Pawn takes e5, terrible double pawn, terrible double pawn. Yep, I expected that. All right, let's go here. Fork in the queen and the bishop, and also the little guy, the pawn. It's actually not easy to find the move. If queen e7, that drops the queen. If queen c7, there is a fork. Well. Can I play that for queen check, king h1? Yeah, that's okay. That's not so bad for me. This check, I can play king h1. And then there's another fork, you see the rook and the bishop. So this is right now a triple fork, but he can get out of this check. Let's see if he's going to find it. Yeah, he found it. Good job. But you cannot take the b-pawn because rook b1 wins the bishop, so you have to watch out for that. It's called a skewer, guys, in chess, when you're going to lose one of these pieces. Wow, that move, uh, a little bit of a surprise. A little bit of a surprise. Uh, maybe not such a bad move. Let's do that. So I expect king takes. Okay, now I have a couple of ideas couple of ideas. One of them is this really aggressive move c4. I honestly don't know if it's good, but let's go for it. You see an aggressive move, you make it. It's blitz after all. Knight b4, you see the problem with this move is this pawn is now a backwards pawn. It could get attacked from the knight, but I feel like his king is really vulnerable, and I may just regroup and go after the king. That move, that move is somewhat of a surprise. So I can take with this guy, pawn takes, pawn takes, and then I was gonna go check. All right, that move I expected, and notice that he wants to play c5, right? So let's lock this guy up for good. Lock everybody up. 
put everybody into prison and start activating our pieces. Do a little check, uh, check our rule, double attack guys, win the, that bishop that was useless anyways, take a little guy, and just regroup, centralization. And at this point, anything wins. Anything wins, so I'm just gonna start picking off pawns. And that was an easy win. But you see, that was a really bad play by my opponent because even though I just said Fanchero is good, that was actually not so good.